Hey guys, and welcome back to a front mission. When we last left off, we were pushing into the city. Um, okay, part of a two-part mission, and of course we have our old friend Grieg back. So, this should be interesting. I'm pretty sure we have the skills to get the kills. So, let's start moving. Uh, Pee-wee's kind of like all out on his own there. Which isn't really fantastic, but you know, he's fine. Some interesting texture work in this game. I don't hate it. Right, Fred is all the way over there. Okay, let's start moving everyone at the front first. Does that make sense? Like so. Everybody just push forwards. They should be able to take a knock or two. Um, now, the Sea King. Uh, is the new enemy here, and I'm not actually particularly worried about it, to be honest. We are going to do a secret mission where we actually get one of those ourselves. Uh, you know what, Pee-wee? You can just chill back here, brother. Let's have a quick look at the old tactical map and see what's going on. Ah, we could actually fold out and around this side. Yeah, let's do that. Sure, why not? And I need to keep remembering to use the D-pad for this game. The D-pad is just so much uh, better, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, go go that way. Split everybody up. Makes more sense. So the danger of the Sea King really is its mobility, which is pretty terrifying, in all honesty. May is just taking it on the chin like a champion. And again, apparently. Ooh. Okay. She's starting to... She's starting to reel. Just a little bit. But she'll be eight. So, it looks like we've got enemies from the north. Coming in pretty hard and heavy. May, I want you... Possibly... To pull back a minute. And maybe use a repair kit. Those legs are pretty, pretty tattered, to say the least. Right, let's get these guys moving up first. You should be able to go straight into the middle of the battle group. Get that cemetery going, Keith. Yes! <laughs> nice amount of damage. Only 85 XP, though. Alright, JJ, smash right into the front of them. Yeah, JJ still needs a little bit of work, but he's getting there. He's getting there. Um, Fred. You know what, Fred? Just body this guy. Body this guy with JJ. Not bad. Almost shredded him. Okay. Starting to think that these guys coming up here might have been a little bit of a mis... Uh, maybe not necessarily a mistake. Because they can go straight ahead, I guess. Maybe you should have just sent everybody into the main, up the main road there, but don't want to risk everybody getting hammered. You know what? If we're in missile range, do it. And the trouble with, oh yeah, take those missiles out. The trouble with sending everybody up uh, in such a narrow area is they're just going to get trapped on each other, which does happen. Now, where's that Sea King? That Sea King is just going to eat so many missiles when it gets close to us. Defend yourself. Come on, Keith. Oh, very nice. Very nice. That's fine. We can take a knock or two from those missiles. They're not that dangerous, really. They look a lot meaner than they actually are. I would say it's nice to actually like use some of their ammo up, but they're not actually going to get into a position where they need to use it all. Oh, he's wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. I suppose we just get some missile XP. Take his legs out. Beautiful. 150 XP. 
That is mental. Alright. Who is lagging behind here? Natalie. Okay. So we've got our star players here. You know what, Natalie? Just go for the center mass. Take him out. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Okay. So. so. We've got some more goons coming in. That's fine. You know what? Just attack, I guess. Wow, Keith, that was not fantastic. Kind of made yourself look like a donkey's ass there. That's better, JJ. That's better. Frederick, um, I guess you don't really need to back Keith up because these guys are coming up. Alright, just keep pushing up the front then, I suppose. He's done. 450 experience. Oof. Right, May, how much do you have? Okay, you're actually not in terrible shape, to be honest. There we go. 200 experience. <laughs> They're just like giving it out like candy. Oh, I love it. All right, everybody. Now this team should get to this junction. And we should be able to swarm them. Now, where is the Sea King? Okay, the Sea King's not that far away. I'm not really sure why it's called a Sea King either. An old British helicopter called a Sea King. It was retired. But it was, you know, used out at sea and around the coast. So, yeah, it made sense. Hold, Fred. Hold. <laughs> now, I have been playing a bit of that Atomic Heart that's just come out. I say it's just come out. It's been out a week or two at the moment uh, now. And I'm not convinced that it's gripping me, unfortunately. Uh, I went in hoping for a Bioshock kind of esque game and, well... Yeah, not really. But I'm going to stick with it for a little bit longer. Also, the enemies um, kind of constantly respawn, which is an unfortunate decision, if you ask me. All right, let's go for the missile. Take out his missile launcher. Should probably be saving some of these missiles. Yeah, uh... Definitely been swinging and missing with a lot of these modern games that have come out recently. Definitely haven't really been my uh, cup of tea. Which I'm finding more and more these days. These games just aren't grabbing me. Right, JJ, go finish his ass off. But that's okay. Decent amount of XP. And look at that, level 26. Nice. Yeah, we don't really care about all these bodies and things that we're getting. Right, now, who's this? Fred. Fred. Fred, you just charge ahead. Drill him. Beautiful. Okay. May. May's not in too bad shape now. I guess she can head towards the pile. Um, we can unleash your rockets. Alright, that's fine. Not every shot has to be a winner. Now second squad has arrived. Let's take out the truck. At least upset the truck. Go for that. I did try Senua's Sacrifice as well uh, a while ago. I downloaded that and I played it for about an hour. And I just, I don't, I, I, I suppose I never really looked into what sort of game it was. And uh, yeah, I played it for about an hour, hour and a half. And again, it just didn't interest me. 
Which is a shame because that's supposed to be one of Xbox's big releases uh, at some point in the future. Ooh. Okay. A little bit of chip damage. We don't mind that. I would attack him with Peewee, actually, just for the lols, but I think Peewee might actually do too much damage. Come on, Seeking. Let's see what you got. Ooh! Fred. Fred has received damage. Let's pull Fred back. Defend yourself, Fred. Yeah, he's dishing out way more than he's taking. So, May's still hanging on in there. She probably does need a repair kit, though. Ow! Bro. Oh, Fred is really holding the line. Okay, so let's move Royd into killing range. Lovely. Would have rather gone for one of the Misslers, but we'll take what we can get here, I think. Okay, Missler. Go for it. Ryuji, try and remove his missile launcher. Alright. I thought that was not going to be that impressive, but who's that? JJ. Uh, JJ, you get that kill. I think JJ needs the XP. That's another missler up here. Remove his missile launcher. Probably should have just gone for a kill shot, but Natalie is so overpowered at this point. Um, I'd rather just, you know, Keith... Oh, Keith is in a bad way. He really is. Keith... Didn't he lose one of his arms? No, that wasn't Keith. Keith, disengage. Get a repair. JJ, get yourself some XP, brother. Lovely. Now, Fred. Fred needs to disengage. Let's try and clear Fred. Ooh. Alright, let's move... Everyone else first. May. Come here and kill that. Okay, that's good enough for now. Paul. Paul hasn't seen a lot of action. Paul needs some XP. Go get some. Paul. Paul. Wow, he's behind. God damn it. <laughs> Paul. You really need some XP. Alright, so if anybody die, uh, has to get some kill shots. Actually, Hans. No, Hans is not terrible. So Hans block and attack. That's another missile. You can actually reach out and grab that one. Alright. Quite a nasty missile launcher on that bad boy as well. Bobby. Bobby as well is alright. So, Bobby, move up. I want you to have another crack at that missile. Alright, not quite what we was looking for, but we'll take it. Purunga. Now, Purunga... Oh, God, Purunga. <sighs> yeah, Purunga needs some XP too. Badly. Alright, Peewee. You can stay. Fred, move back to Peewee and use some repairs. You actually don't need a huge amount of repairs. Oh, May's taking... Oof. She's getting her teeth rattled. It's alright. We can take it. We can handle it. Oh, dear. May! <laughs> May, it's not looking great over there, is it? They are retreating. 
Now, I said we can take it, but only so much. Um, let's pop a repair. Ryuji, head up. Disable that guy. Lovely. Now, Nat, you're going to have to go and do some serious damage. They're all bloody missiles, aren't they? And we are running out of missiles. So, Natalie, I'm going to move you forwards, but end your turn. We need to save these missiles for the Sea King. Because I honestly can't remember how dangerous that thing is. Right. Keith can move and smoke a repair kit. JJ, I uh, kind of wanted you to get some more XP. You know what, JJ? Creep up around there. And I guess let him have it. Take his legs out. That'll do. Lovely. Actually, JJ's better than I thought he was. Okay. Fred. Fred's now got his arm back. Which means I'll get him resupplied. Now, met oh shit, May. May needs to pull back too. Repairs what needs repairing body. And Paul. Paul's not as fantastic as I kind of thought he might be. <laughs> oh, Paul. Paul. You're going to have to do better than that, Paul. Right, Hans. What's Hans like? He's level 20. All right, Hans is not bad. Kill him with the hot dogs. Uh... I guess just go for a body shot. Because then maybe... Ah, Bobby. Bobby. Go take that guy out. Kind of don't want him... Retreating all the way back. But I guess he's going to get out of it now. Alright, whatever. Everybody focus. How many missiles do you have, Paranga? You got four volleys left. Uh, go help up here, I guess. Yeah, again, you need some training. Pee Wee, you just hold steady there. I thought he was going to go around this bastard. That's okay. That is also okay. Yeah, Paranga, dude, you need some you need some help. I see they're all treating to be repaired. Excellent. Ooh, jeez. Maybe Maybe Royd might have to disengage. Jewel, I guess we'll take it. Alright, so. Yeah. Disengage. Have a repair kit. Now, Ryuji. Uh, can we get with a missile range? Doesn't look like it. That's fine. Oh, we are in missile range. Yeah, he's got a lot of health. But actually not that bad. Good to know. These guys are in pretty good condition. But Natalie could probably sort that out. Right, kill him. Come on, Nat. Get rid of his missiles at least. That'll work. Keith. 
think we need to try and intercept that thing. Go this way. You know what? That should work. That's fine. Just go for a body shot. Let's try and take some of these guys out. Now, JJ. JJ, if you go there, you're in range. Hit him with a skull. Not bad. It's half of his health down. Fred, I want you to move back. Pop a med kit. And then you're in fighting, you're fighting fit. Now, May, I want you to do the same thing, but I want you to come down here. You want to go down here? Pop a med kit. Okay. That's more like it. So, Paul, you can go in a minute. Let's see if we can't weaken this guy down. Uh, I guess go for a body shot. And then, we'll have a go with Paul, see if he can't get the kill. Oh, of course he can't. This is the trouble with underleveled people. They're really quite bad. See if we can't take him out. Oh, I mean, we did some damage, so that's not bad. I would have rather do more damage, but it is what it is. We'll take guide, sure. Uh, Parunga, I guess you can come and sneak behind and waste them if you can. You can. Alright, Peewee. Go park next to Roid. Interesting. He's just kind of wasting his turns. And I don't, I don't really mind. He can waste as many of his turns as he likes, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, cool. So, how's everything back here? We're kind of stabilized. Let's get patched up. Now, Ryuji... How many tiles can he move? Not yeah, move sixteen. I think it takes three tiles to move. Um yeah. Yeah, three tiles to move, so that'd take nine. Yeah, he has got quite a radius on him actually. Ryuji is on max health but that's not great still all right one more volley and that thing should be dusted natalie this is a risky maneuver but i need you to make this work yes Grr, stop moving you runts yeah, it's 17 XP for destroying that. Seems pretty weak source, but, you know, whatever, I guess. Kill him! You didn't listen to me, Keith. To kill him! I guess JJ can come up behind, hit him with the rockets. Oof, nice. Just more XP. Fred, we could probably use getting Paul some XP, really. Oh, is there more? Ah, there's a lot. Okay, there's more enemies on the board than I thought. Paul, light him up the skull. That was kind of useless, but all right, Paul. Let's trash these guys the best we can. I guess I can always do uh, a little bit of off-screen training. For Parunga, I suppose. Well, for Paul. 
We haven't actually used Paul that much, thinking about it. Purunga also needs some serious training. Yes, there we go. That'll work. Need to get them, really, for them to be much use. So you need to have a skill of about 3,000. 3,000 to 4,000 is kind of ideal. And it doesn't take that long to get them that much skill either, to be fair. Fred, you're pretty healthy. May, you're also pretty healthy. These jackasses are just trying to run away now. Which is to be expected, I guess. Damn, Royd, how could you miss? I know you only missed one, but still. Good old reliable Ryuji. Look at him. He's just a beast. Anything over like level 31 is pretty much end game skill. So I don't mind that. So anybody over like level 30, they're kind of done in the arena. They don't need it. Like, at all. Fred. It's just this bastard that's running away now. It's not very good, is it? No guts, that's for sure. You know what? Doesn't matter. Just end our phase. There we go. He's still got that little rocket launcher. That one stings. Oof. Let's rattle back rockets of our own. <laughs> yeah, you didn't want to do that really, did you, brother? Okay, I don't really know the best way of getting to him, to be honest. Let's try and milk him for as much XP as we can. Keith, your turn. Carve off another slice. Whoa. Getting some weird sound glitching then. I like the way it gives us a choice of where to shoot him. It's like, well, he's fucked. <laughs> he's got like one patch of armor left. Fort Mondas has fallen. Victory is ours. Yay. I think that ends the war. Pretty much. So the war has been won. Or the war has been lost, depending on who you're fighting for. Fort Mondas. Now, before we do anything, we're going to go to the arena. We're going to enter the arena. And we are going to fight... Somebody here. Um, is it Ralph? I think if we fight Ralph... He can join us. Now, this is the one character that I've never got before, so. Sable him. Let's have some fun with this. <laughs> oh, we got switch speed and jewel. You know what? This is just painful. Finish him. Congratulations, you won the match. Recruit Ralph? Yeah, so Ralph is the final member of our party that we can uh, actually choose to recruit. You're asking me to fight in the Canyon Crows? Only if you're offering your services. Well, huh. Alright, I'm in. I don't care who wins this war. But I can still have some fun before it ends. Nice, Ralph has joined. So that is every member. It's interesting, although we, he's joined us, we can still... Uh, fight with him. 
Right, and I believe that is now everybody we get in the game. Which means we might have some upgrading to do. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16! Maybe it's 16 characters. And he is in that old beat up piece of shit. He's actually quite good. Oh, his short sucks. His melee's good. Melee's very good. Long's not bad. Alright, interesting. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.